Some people think that dogs today are too domesticated to fight off wolves, and this is just not true. When people think of dogs today, they tend to think about the popular dog breeds we all know and love, like Golden Retrievers, Labs, Huskies, and other fluffy, cute pooches. In this video, we will tell you about top 10 dog breeds that can defeat wolves. Number 10. The Kangal. Weight, female 41 to 54 kilograms, male 50 to 66 kilograms. Height, female 72 to 77 centimeters, male 77 to 86 centimeters. The Kangal is a strong, large dog that comes from Turkey. They have been such excellent livestock guardians for centuries that they are actually still used today for the same purpose. They are also very important to the Turkish people that it's illegal to export them out of Turkey, which means you are unlikely to be able to get one. Kangals are calm and even-tempered dogs in general, but they have excellent protective instincts that make them able to take on wolves and other dogs. Number 9. The Commodore. Weight, male 50 to 60 kilograms, female 40 to 50 kilograms, height, female 64 to 69 centimeters, male 71 to 76 centimeters. They look adorable and have a cheerful personality to match, but when it comes to it, the Commodore can take on wolves. Lovingly referred to as the mop dog, the Commodore is actually a strong and alert sheepdog that has been used to guard livestock for centuries. They are loyal, loving, and even-tempered dogs, which has also made them excellent family dogs but they still have the protective instincts that made them a threat to predators like wolves and coyotes. One surprising fact about them is that they actually don't shed and make for an excellent choice for those with allergies. Number 8. The Gamper Armenian Wolfhound Weight, male 126 to 135 pounds or 57 to 61 kilograms. Female, 100 to 130 pounds or 45 to 59 kilograms. Height, male, 25 to 26 inches or 64 to 66 centimeters. Female, 23 to 24 inches or 58 to 61 centimeters. This Armenian dog is one to be loved and feared. They are excellent livestock guardian dogs that are known for their strong instincts, their trustworthiness, and their friendliness to humans. They are pretty strong dogs too, with muscular builds and strong jaws that make them capable of taking on predators. They are tough dogs that are used to living in harsh conditions. Number 7. The Anatolian Shepherd. Weight, female 40 to 55 kilograms, male 50 to 65 kilograms. Height, female 71 to 79 centimeters, male 74 to 81 centimeters. The Anatolian Shepherd is another livestock guardian dog that comes originally from Turkey, but you can find them in the U.S. They are intelligent, steady, and proud dogs that are strong enough to take on predators such as wolves and coyotes without much trouble. They are also intelligent and independent, which can make training them quite tricky, especially with their large size. Number 6. The Prisa Canario Weight, female 38 to 50 kilograms, male 50 to 59 kilograms. Height, female 56 to 61 centimeters, male 60 to 65 centimeters. The Pedro de Presa Canario, also referred to as the Canary Mastiff, is a large dog breed that makes for great livestock guardians. They may not be as large as other dogs on this list, but they have strong muscular builds that gives them enough physical strength to take on predators. Even more important is that they are quite dominant, territorial, and alert dogs, which makes them a real threat to predators like wolves. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, I expect Preso Canario to have good chances against the wolf. If you are planning to get one of these puppies, you should know that training them is not easy and they are known to be quite stubborn. Thankfully, they are quite friendly to humans and have an overall gentle and calm nature. Number 5. The Borble. Weight, male 65 to 90 kilograms, female 50 to 65 kilograms. Height, male 64 to 70 centimeters, female 59 to 65 centimeters. The Borble is a large Mastiff dog that has its origins in the south of Africa. They have a distinct black mask, short coat, and strong bone structure. The Borble is a muscular dog that is dominant and territorial, which makes them difficult to train, but also makes them excellent guardian dogs. 
They are also quite confident and brave, making them a legitimate threat to predators such as wolves. Because of its size and strength, the borbel is often used as a fighting dog in countries like South Africa. Also known as the South African Mastiff, these canines were bred to guard against predators and work on farms. They are one of the most powerful dog breeds in the world. With a muscular and large build and a mighty jaw and bite force, it's no wonder the borbel is often used as one of the fighting dog breeds. Number four, the Tibetan Mastiff. Weight, male, 45 to 73 kilograms. Female, 34 to 54 kilograms. Height, male, 66 to 76 centimeters. Female, 61 to 71 centimeters. The Tibetan Mastiff is a large muscular dog that has a very distinct look thanks to their coats, which they have developed to adapt to the attitude they are used to live in. These dogs are quite stubborn, although they tend to be very gentle and even aloof dogs once trained and socialized. They are also quite strong dogs with very impressive strong wills and protective instincts. They are very dominant and territorial, and they don't like intruders of any species, making them very dangerous on wolves and other predators. A Rottweiler that has been selectively bred for gameness can probably overpower a wolf. The average pet Rottweiler or pit bull would be utterly destroyed. A game-bred Borzoi, Wolfhound, or other breed bred specifically to deal with wolves will probably put up a good fight and even win. The Tibetan Mastiff is a large-sized dog with a fierce personality. Its coat color is mostly ironclad gold, yellow, and black, and it is native to the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. It has a strong temperament and powerful strength. In Tibet, there is a legend that a Tibetan Mastiff can defeat three wolves. Number three, the Doggo Argentino. We expected another mean and scary looking popular fighting dog breed to be on this list, the Doggo Argentino. Large, muscular, and usually white, the Doggo Argentino is a strong opponent when put in the pit and will pose a danger to any other animal. Because of the loose skin around the neck, it isn't easy for the other dog to get a grip and pull the doggo down. In the meantime, this breed is aggressive with a powerful bite force and makes for a terrifying opponent against any other canine on this list. Weight, female, 35 to 40 kilograms. Male, 40 to 45 kilograms. Height, female, 60 to 65 centimeters. Male, 60 to 68 centimeters. The Doggo Argentino is not as large as some of the dogs on this list, but they definitely deserve a place on this list thanks to their muscular build that makes them quite strong, their strong protective instincts, and their fighting prowess. They were actually developed as fighting dogs, which means they can give predators such as wolves and coyotes a very hard time. They are also very loyal and territorial dogs, and they would jump at predators without a second thought. Number two, the Irish Wolfhound. Weight, male 140 to 180 pounds. Female, 115 to 140 pounds. Height, male 30 to 35 inches. Female, 30 to 34 inches. The Irish Wolfhound is a very interesting and unique dog. They have a long history as guardian dogs in Ireland, and they are very beloved dogs in the country. Their distinct appearance have made them the subject of many myths over the centuries. They have a long history of fighting off predators such as coyotes, wolves, and even more dangerous predators. In the last century, they have slowly turned more domesticated and become calmer and gentler, but they are still fierce dogs that will not hesitate to fight and kill wolves to protect their families. Number one, the Cane Corso. Weight, female, 40 to 45 kilograms. Male, 45 to 50 kilograms. Height, female, 58 to 66 centimeters. Male, 62 to 70 millimeters. The Cane Corso is an excellent guardian and working dog. They are of Italian origin and they are wonderful dogs. They are reliable, stable, and even tempered, but they also have strong protective instincts and are very suspicious of strangers and intruders. They are also very expensive and a good Cane Corso could cost you $10,000. In a one-to-one -one confrontation with a coyote, the dog would come out victorious every single time. This is it. Cane Corso is yet another well-known sturdy and strong breed that looks aggressive and generally makes most dogs lists to watch out for. This goes back to their history because this Italian Mastiff was used as a soldier dog for the Romans. They are large and extremely intimidating when you see one for the first time. These dogs also have a mighty jaw and strong prey drive. Thanks to their large size and endurance in the pit, this breed can easily dominate, making them one of the best fighting dog breeds. 
today, they are also used in the military and becoming a popular dog in police work. Do let us know in the comments which one of them is the strongest dog breed. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.